Everyone talks about the need for a change of values, but do we know what we're talking about? I am Rodrigo Guim, an anthropologist and social critic, and this is Critique with Nietzsche and Foucault. What do you understand by a transvaluation of values? Please comment below the video so I can enter into a conversation with you. If you believe thinking is fundamental in your life and you think you can discuss thought, then subscribe to this channel because that is our task here. In the book The Antichrist, Nietzsche elaborates the concept of transvaluation of values. In this book, Nietzsche shows how Christian morality rose and became strong because of its slandering of life, being, of being hostile to life, slandering all that is necessarily part of life, all that expresses a life in fruition and vitality, as sex, the pleasures of the body, and the body itself. Christian morality, which has spread throughout the world, has become secularized, has hidden itself in the most diverse forms of culture and thought, of the dominant ways of life, and is a moral debasement of life. Nietzsche shows in the book The Antichrist how even Jesus himself and his teachings were downgraded and debased by Christian morality that came with the founding of the Church. Jesus, according to Nietzsche, brought the view that the kingdom of God was within us. The Church, by contrast, has cast the king kingdom of God into the heavens or the hereafter. For Nietzsche, a quote from the book The Antichrist, Jesus had eliminated the concept of guilt. He had denied any gulf between God and man. He lived this unity of God and man as his glad tidings, end of quote. We all need to value. There is no choice of not valuing, not making any differences, any hierarchy of things, of the ways of thinking, acting, feeling, ultimately of the ways of life. Life itself calls for this valuation, and if we value against life, we become sick, weak, decadent. We all think about what makes us better and what makes us worse, what is good or bad for us. This is important. But this is very different from the concepts of good and evil of morality, which are abstract concepts, as if they were outside of life, as if they did not depend on life and what happens at specific moments of time. Good and bad are part of life, and valuing that which improves our lives, actively seeking what can improve our lives, is necessary. Says Nietzsche, quote, When we speak of values, we speak with the inspiration, with the way of looking at things, which is part of life. Life itself forces us to posit values. Life itself values through us, when we posit values. Nietzsche, Twilight of the Idols. To value is to create, is to create values. For Nietzsche, valuing something as different and better or worse than something else is fundamental, it's inherent to life. And the way of life is necessarily transformed by its valuation, where one puts value and how one does it. For Nietzsche, values are always being placed, and his point is to create new values when those at one's disposal do not favor a potent life, an affirmative life for oneself. Because today the dominant moral values are tired and condemning values of life. But we never create from nothing, we never create in a cultural void. There is no void of culture or socialization. Values are produced in relations with nature, with others, but always depend on the culture and time in which one lives. Nietzsche writes in Thus Spoke Zarathustra, citation, Truly, 
men have given themselves all their good and evil. Truly, they did not take it, they did not find it, it did not descend to them as a voice from heaven. So here Nietzsche is pointing to the fact that values are created by people in relations with other people. It doesn't just happen. Values are, do not come from the heavens, they are created. He continues, man first implanted values into things to maintain himself. He created the meaning of things, a human meaning. Therefore, he calls himself man, that is, the evaluator. So Nietzsche is pointing here to the fact that uh, as human beings, we necessarily give value. That is part of being human. We've, we create values. He continues, evaluation is creation. Hear it, you creative man. Valuating is itself the value and jewel of all valued things. A change in values, that means a change in the creators of values. He who has to be a creator always has to destroy. So here Nietzsche is pointing to the fact that creating values means always destroying old values, means changing values necessarily. Changing values is necessarily changing the creators of values, changing the ways of life of those creators. The value maker changes himself as he creates values at the same time. Nietzsche wants to destroy the antagonistic values to life, to his life, and in that very movement, he is saying a big yes to what needs to emerge in him and in life. Nietzsche's denial of morality and its debased values, their slander against life in dominant morality, is both an act of self-affirmation at the same time as a, as a denial of this negation of life. But there is one more issue. It is not about dialectics. It is not a matter of opposites, binarisms, and synthesis. The issue is the opening of possibilities, possibilities of way of life, of acting, of thinking, which open when the denial of morals and the affirmation of life and the potency of life are activated. Non-finalist possibilities of being oneself open up if we act by the transvaluation of values. Because transvaluation does not end while we still live in an environment that wants to moralize or to debase. Transvaluation is the continuing practice of seeking to leave no trace of decaying values, not to idolize, not even our emergencies, our resistances, our struggles. Not to take yourself too seriously, because to take yourself too seriously is to live with sad affects. It's to fall into the slander of life again, resentment and bad conscience. Not to value by reactivity, by negation, by a big no only. Man, by morality, appeared as a new idol after God. Morality, which according to Nietzsche, killed God, is also that which instituted man as the new universal foundation in dominant culture. To transvaluate is to remove the traces of the old God in man and everything else that might have the traces of man. Man, as the measure of all things, must collapse so that we may have a living value. Only then would it be possible to create values. We would have to create these new values without idols, without human modes to human modes. God, as the highest value, has given place to man as a measure of all things. And now is the time to remove this man as a measure and paradigm of our time so that life can have more room to flow. And for that, we must continually transvalue because man tends to reappear in the dominant ways of life, of thought, of being and acting today. Where we recognize man or any other trace of idolatry, there we must revalue. That the eternal may not be a burden, 
that the future may be affirmed, not because we need a new universal foundation, but because we have already carried too many weights for too long. Life can no longer be a burden because, after all, the dominant values today are moral. And morality, as Nietzsche says in the book Beyond Good and Evil, is only an interpretation of phenomena. For, as he says, quote, there are no moral phenomena, but only a moral interpretation of phenomena. Well, people, now I need you to comment, ask on Facebook or YouTube so I can answer you in the next videos. This is an immersion in Nietzsche and Foucault. It is a video conversation where the questions and issues brought by you I bring to the debate and I also bring new questions. See you next Thursday.